and welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host today, Carrie Coogan, and we're talking about the city of Lenexa today with uh, the Lenexa Deputy City Administrator, Todd Pelham. Thanks so much for being here. It's your first time here, I take Thank it. Thank you. Appreciate the invite. <laughs> and we're also here at the beautiful museum at Prairie Fire in Johnson County. Um, so let's talk about Lenexa for a second. Um, I know that there's a lot of wonderful things going on, but in particular, the um, Lenexa Civic Center is one of the highlights. So can you tell me what it is and what's happening? Yeah, we, um, we have really been at the staff level trying to execute a vision that a bunch of citizens have spent probably the last 20 years really investing a lot of time and effort and planning the kind of the vision for the city of Lenexa for the next 20 years. Um, the Lenexa Civic Center piece of that is part of a greater development called Lenexa City Center, a 200 acre development at 87th and Renner, uh, really the geographic heart of our city along um, uh, uh, 87th and Renner, uh, that quarter there. So we uh, we have been able to work with our city council uh, with some uh, public uh, financing and uh, infrastructure infrastructure um, investment that we put there at 87th to really create an incredible campus that we're executing now over the next two years. Uh, that vision. What's came, gonna uh, What's gonna be there? What's in? What um, Really, the, the Lenexa Civic Center is a five-acre campus. Um, there's 200,000 square feet of um, really civic uh, investment, uh, recreational opportunities, and then also something we're really excited about is a retail opportunity there for uh, ent local entre entrepreneurs to, to create uh, what we're calling the Lenexa Public Market, which is a thing that we haven't seen in the metro area before. But uh, you know how we all love food, and uh, it, it gets people excited to, to come eat. But we're really kind of creating kind of an urban food court where we, we work with local uh, entrepreneurs uh, to uh, invest in a kind of a, a, a basically a food court that they would have leases there for a short term period. But uh, but really kind, kind of, of a, like a pop up. Yeah, yeah. like a pop up <laughs> restaurant concept that. Uh, we think we'll lead with food, but there also could be soft goods in there too. So that, that's kind of a unique uh, mixing of use. And again, that's the vision to really look at recreational opportunities, commercial, residential opportunities, which was really boomed in the city center area. There's over 3,000 uh, apartment units within about a mile walking distance of this area. So we really have uh, invested in a walkable, uh, really livable community there. And also for the people who live in that area or travel around Lenexa, um, Ridgeview Road is close to opening up. Is that right? That's probably exciting for a lot of people yeah, who live in that area. Yeah, that's been a, a, another high priority on our capital improvement program for several years. And it's uh, Ridgeview Road right off of K-10. Right, right. K-10, um, you know, running east and west, but the connection between 95th Street and K-10 has always been something that we've wanted to open up for development. And we've had a lot of interest uh, with a, a developer that is controlling that land. And we are hopeful to see some retail opportunities, uh, you know, in the next year. But the city is executing a, a, a major road, road project there over the next uh, year and a half. So. Well, unfortunately, that's all the time we have here uh, today. But thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you. And that's all the time we have today on Newsmakers, but we'll see you right back here again next time.